What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are here at Fort Myers. A little Labor Day testing tune oh that Vernon Dean is putting on. I'm here with the one and only BB Fast. Llegó papá, Benito, Benito Fast. We got Power Mad racing over there. Say what's up. We got Vernon. All these guys are showing up now. I think they are just getting the track ready. Um, we're gonna see what we can do here. He said what? We're gonna break the Florida record today. Today. Yes, we are. Maybe not this one, but for sure that car. Right? Record, got a name. BB5. Look, look, look in the shirt right there. What does the other side say on his shirt? Look at that right there. Florida record got a name. And it's BB5. Just so they know. So, we're gonna wait till they get the track hot and then we're gonna start making some passes. Yo, lo mandaste a la mesa el tipo este? I'm not the balanasa. I got a good view. I got it from like directly from the back. Yeah, it did. And it just got crazy. Oh, shit. It's popped off. You're good. So I messed up the top shaft. Yeah, the car left hard. This top shaft left that a lot of power in my line and it just spun this so it is what it is. We'll come back another day. Ride my personal best. Can't be happier. This guy left hard but sent it to the to the kitchen sink at it. Now we're just here chilling. People left, it's really hot. But it is what it is, we're here. We're trying to make it happen. Ready? How's the track? Kept lining them up. Now is where you now. Ahora que está bueno para romper el reloj. Yes, bro. Ahora sí. Wow. Today was a good day. Hot as balls. The track. Look at this guy. Look at it. Está está bueno. Está bueno. No pre, pero I walked it to the end. Thank you for putting it on, bro. Good Appreciate it. Jimmy, thanks for all your help, brother. Appreciate you. getting good right now with with the clouds this would have been pretty good time to run some some pretty pretty good numbers but it is what it is we're out here all day dude we're dead beat by the sun so it was a good day i didn't record much because i was just testing the car i was going faster broke my pb my, my personal pb before this was uh 177 at uh 75 now i went 80 mile an hour at 174 I was just running consistent one sevens. So I ended up starting off the day with a 215. I saw some people spinning in the beginning, so I turned it down and I just wanted to make sure I can make an A and B pass. And as soon as I went down, I went 215 at 76. So I turned up the remote some more 
I went a 208, and I gave it a little bit more on the remote, went 197, and then from there I chipped away to a 194, and then from a 194 I went down to 188. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Jonathan, BB Fast. Well, oh, we freaking since he's, since he's helped me out with the car and getting me pointing in the right direction and helped me out a lot with the car. Dude, the car has been going so much faster than it's ever been. So shout out to him for all the help and getting me to my PB. We were trying to go to touch the one sixes, even high one sixes. I wouldn't let them go like that. It's competitive. Um, and the car just didn't didn't hold up. Well, the transmission didn't hold up. So it's all good. I'm happy with it. It never crashed. It went A to B every day, straight. So I can't complain. Every pass I went was just going faster and faster and faster. And I'm happy with that. So it's taking all the power and growing at it. All right, we are back at the shop. I'm gonna go over a little a recap of today's uh, test and tune. I wanna give a huge shout out to uh, Vernon Dean for uh, putting on this little Labor Day uh, test and tune session. I really appreciate it. It was a very hard and hot and brutal day in the sun. Uh, no tent, no fan was doing justice of how hot it is. So appreciate you, man, for setting up the tree. I had a lot of fun. It was good seeing all you guys over there in Fort Myers, and I appreciate you guys coming out. I had a blast. Um, congrats to Casey, uh, Casey Funston. I'm sorry if I butchered your last name, bro, but congrats to, to Casey. He broke the Florida record. Uh, he went a 163, and then he backed it up with a 162. So congrats to him. He's got his car figured out, man. He's uh, dialed in for the next point series race. So... I uh, just wanted to give you guys a little uh, quick update of today and how the car performed. First pass, I uh, turned it down. I wanted to make sure the car went A to B, so I killed everything on the on the start uh, with the controller. I was watching everybody uh, leave 10 feet, and then they spin. The track wasn't there yet, um, so it was still pretty green. So I turned it down, and sure enough, it made a lick. It uh, went 215 at 76. The car left pretty dead on the start i believe on the uh, i have a gnss I, there's no uh, mid or six foot times with the tree he has so i put my gnss to get some 66 foot times and i believe in this one it went uh a one six or something like that i'll post it up for every pass because every pass i had a gnss pass on it so for each one i'll post up here either side and you guys can get to see that Second pass, I went up a little bit more on the control. I left everything on the tune-up alone, so I just went a, a couple clicks on the remote, and they went a 208 at 76. And then the pass after that, I turned it up a little bit more on the remote, and it went 197 at 76, same mile an hour. As you guys can see on this next one, same mile an hour, better ET. And I just kept going up on the remote. So on the pass, next pass after this one, I gave it a little more on the leave, and the car immediately, when it when it stuck, it went hard left. It didn't even uh, leave six feet, it just spun hard left. So I was trying to figure out what that was. I thought it was because I put too much on the controller. So I turned it down and went back out, and I did, it did the same thing. And I quickly realized that I had stripped one of the hubs, uh, one of the hexes on the wheels. So. This was on the left tire, so it immediately spun right in there. So that kind of solved the problem. Uh, shout out to BB. I don't have my uh, voodoos or wheels on me, so he uh, he gave me a pair to put on. So thank you to BB. So I left, I turned on the controller thinking it'd be the, the controller that I turned it up too much. So when I went back out, car hooked and it went on 194. Um, so I realized, okay, I'm gonna put back the same tune up that I put on the controller and I busted out a 188 at 77, almost 78 miles an hour. Then the pass right after that, I went up a couple clicks and I busted out a 186 at 78.8. So happy with that. And then I gave it a bit more on the start and the car took it and it went 178 at 78 mile an hour 
So that's that's right there next to my PB. So I'm pretty happy with that. And the PB that I did was in Plant City. Um, so it was a 177. So I'm happy with that. And uh, here in Fort Myers is the fastest I've been. So 178. I'm pretty excited about that. I went to do another pass right after that and I turned it up a little bit too much in the control and the car spun so I found the limit on the remote. I turned it down a click and I went back out and it went a 177 at 78.2. So it was doing better six foot times and I was pretty happy with that. So then uh, I will try to do it again. I went another click on the remote to see if it would take it and sure enough it left and it went the same thing same mile an hour just from a set of a 17763 it went to 17760 so just a slight bit faster at the end of the day it's just a tad bit improvement but it wasn't a big change as I expected then I went back out and I busted out a 176 right there that was my PB and I was pretty stoked about that and then I went up more on the control and I busted out a 174 that was my PB so I was super happy with that I was like dude, dude that's what I wanted in the car I wanted to run consistent 17s and sure enough I'm breaking down sevens like nothing uh, I went up more on the start power and as soon as I went up more on the start power all right so as you guys can see I uh, strip the top shaft um, so it's not that I stripped it it's that I broke it off wow you know what guys I'm finding this out right now on camera just like you guys are I snapped the top shaft hold on let me let me get this thing on I'm gonna show you guys because I'm just finding out this myself right now I have not noticed this because this is spinning and the rest is not I did not notice that when I was at the when I was in Fort Myers, so let let me let me uh get this taken apart, and we're gonna we're gonna dissect that and check it out and see what the hell happened. <laughs> on the time lapse how hard it was to take this off take off this shaft what is this screw that goes across on the top shaft man freaking busting my freaking pinky all types of stuff but i finally got it out i'm gonna give it a little polish check this out dude this has never happened to me ever never seen this happen Look at this. Like, dude, I snapped it clean from the shaft. You know, I originally thought that I chewed up the gears because look at the gears, they're pretty chewed up already. I thought this had to do with it, but no. It makes sense now. I would give it gas and the car would not go anywhere, but I was trying to figure out why. You know, obviously, you know, the top shaft or something went out, but. I took apart the top shaft and I saw teeth and I was like, dude, yeah, it's pretty chewed up, you know, but it still has teeth, you know, it would still actually catch to, to, to drive, but I could never understood, understand why I would not do it, why I would not advance. So then this is it. All right, sweet. So now we know when you add too much power with a five gear and the track is sticky, you're gonna break one of these. So, it is what it is. I'm gonna have to get myself another top shaft that I have laying around. I gotta put it together and we should be Gucci. Um, as far as the actual transmission, uh, it's all in one piece. It spins nice and freely. All the gears look good. Nothing's chewed up, nothing's binding. I just got to clean it all out, put some fresh grease, lubricate all the bearings, and put it back together with the top shaft, and we should be good.
boy, if you don't. Salam, ¿eh? ¿Qué es esto? 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 ¿Qué es esto?